Hello everyone, this is DA from E Academy. Today we will talk about another technique for solving linear programming problems. As we have seen the first technique that is graphical method in the previous video. And I already mentioned that graphical method is really useful when no more than two variables, primary variables are there. And, and what if the number of variables exceeds two? So this video is the answer of this question that what is the second method? What is the second method or what is the method when the primary variable exceeds two? So the answer is in the form of the next technique, the technique that we are going to discuss today, that is simplex method. So we will discuss this simplex method in three parts. The very first part is that why we need simplex method. The second part is that the simplex model. And the third part is about the possibility of the constraints that we must have to discuss when talking about the simplex method. So let's start. So we have talked about why we need simplex method that if we have variables that exceeds two uh, of this form that we have to maximize this x1 the objective function is x1 minus 7x2 plus 2x3 so there are three things there are three variables that we have to figure out the value in order to maximize our objective function now the second thing is that now the second thing is that we have to discuss about the linear programming model of the simplex method so there are two main things in this model the first thing is about the constraints must have no negative right hand side. So the first part is that all of the constraints must have no negative right hand sides. For example, we have a constraint of the type 4x plus 7y that is less than 24. So this is the right hand side and this must have to be positive when we're talking about the simplex method. And if we have a type that 4x plus 7y is less than minus 24 this is negative so we must have to make it positive in order to in order to apply the simplex method so for making it positive we must have to multiply with the negative one and by applying the negative sign this inequality must also will change its position so this will be the required constraint then and the second thing is pretty obvious that all variables should be non-negative and all all these restrictions of the negative sign are, are due to the fact that in in real life there is no meaning of the negative length negative time negative number of products etc so the second thing is the same as the graphical technique that all the variables should be non-negative so again the first part is that why we need simplex method that when variables exceeds two in order to avoid complexity because graphical technique, when we are using graphical technique, um, having objective function of the variables that must have variables uh, greater than two. So the complexity was really high. So in order to avoid the complexity, we will use a simplex method. And the simplex method, the model containing the two possibilities, the two restrictions here, that first thing, all of the right hand side should be positive. The second thing that is pretty obvious in all of the linear programming problem is that all the variables should be positive. Now, the third thing is about talking about the possibilities of the constraints in the simplex method or why we can form a relative equality or from an inequality of the constraint. When talking about the possibilities of the inequalities in the constraint, so we have two main possibilities, less than or equal to and greater than or equal to sign. So there are two main things. So first of all, we'll discuss this sign in the constraint. If I am writing this, that 5x is less than or equal to 50, then right side of this representing the limit on the availability of the resources and the left side representing the usage of the limited resources by the variables. So here we have, I'm just writing the variable x here so again this side that is a positive side must be positive when we are applying the simplex method 
these are representing the limit on the availability of the resources and the left side representing the usage of the limited resources by this variable it can be more than um, two because we are using the simplex method so here the value of x can be 10 in order to make it an equality but the task is to figure out the optimal answer so it must be less than 10 if it is must le less than 10 then there is a gap in this value and this value so the gap there will be a gap between the two values um, it, that is the gap will be in the available resources and the use resources so we will represent this gap with the help of a variable that is known as a slack variable because if x because we are talking about the optimality here x should be less than 10 so i am adding a variable s that is equal to 50 then so this variable is using here because this is the difference this is the gap between the available resources and the used resources here this variable is known as the slack variable and because it's a slack variable by nature it should be positive as well it's a slack variable also known as a slack amount of resources or un um, unused amount of resources now moving toward this another inequality that is greater than or equal to taking the same figure here 5x is greater than or equal to 50 so here again this is the limit on the availability of the resources and this is the usage of the limited resources so here we have greater than sign this implies that i have to extract a positive amount in order to make it equality so here i have to add the positive thing because this sign is less than this sign this thing is less than this thing so i have to add something positive in order to make an equality so if this is greater than this thing then i have to subtract something from this to make it equality so i have to write 5x minus s make it a dash in order to make a difference between the slack and this thing so here if you are going to make a connection between them then you can also without if i'm not going to add this here the i am not going to add the negative s here i must add plus s here like this so 5x minus s dash is equal to 50 so this s dash is the surplus amount or the surplus uh, of the available of the resources so this is also because i am going to subtract it so s dash is also positive in its nature s dash is the surplus variables so when i have the less than or equal less than or equal to relation between the limited resources the available resources and the usage of the resources then i have to add the slack thing the slack variables and if there is a relation of this thing greater than or equal to between the available resources on the limit and the usage of the resources then i have to subtract a positive thing subtract a surplus in order to make it inequality form so these are the three main things very first thing that why we need simplex method what is the model of the simplex method and what is the main reason what is the main structure uh, of the constraints of adding the surplus and the slack variables in the simplex ma model so in the next video we will solve a linear programming problem by simplex method so in order to figure out all the things very easily and make a connection with the real life as well so this is for now looking for more such videos then you can subscribe to this channel to watch more upcoming videos we will meet in the next video till then take care goodbye